Some have asked why I no longer stream on YouTube, and I feel it's only fair for me to respond publicly. There are a few reasons, but the main reason I stopped is because I am tired of having to worry about what I can or cannot say on a live stream. I will no longer allow YouTube to censor what the Holy Spirit would have me share with my church family. The other reason I stopped is because after the last ban from YouTube ended in the first week of December, I was still unable to stream live anyway. It seems my streaming software won't work properly with YouTube anymore. I just checked the other day and I'm still unable to stream without first setting the stream up as if it's the first time I ever used it, which means i got to reconfig absolutely everything each time I want to stream. And the creators of the software are totally aware of it because I let them know and they know YouTube is doing this to a random number of their users and there's just no way to fix it right now. And as most of you know, I have over 30,000 subscribers on YouTube, yet rarely I get over 3,000 views per video. In fact, the norm is actually one to 2,000 views now and has been for well over a year. Now, I will still be uploading the short videos as long as I can, of course, but doing a live stream means I'm going to be speaking for well over two hours, and it's just too frustrating to do that knowing I have to curb my tongue due to YouTube's illegal free speech issues, especially when it comes to Christians who expose what's really happening in the world regarding the pandemic, the climate change, and the mark of the beast. Still, there is good news to share here. Thanks to YouTube's constant attacks, I was moved to find a way to do the streams all on my own. And so after just over two years of research and development, we now have our very own live stream server where uncensored truth can be shared without YouTube or Google having anything to say in a matter. In fact, I have been able to duplicate the stream as well so as to deal with any possible issues in the future. And so that all being said, joining us for the live church stream is actually far easier than doing so with YouTube now. All you need to do now to join us for church services is to click here at the schedule times we meet, of course. And if you want to be able to text chat with your brothers and sisters in the Lord after the church service ends during our fellowship hour, just click the link underneath the video stream. And so please share this video with as many as you can because even when I put out a community alert to let people know about videos or certain things going on, hardly anyone sees them anymore. And so please share this video with as many as you can. And thank you for watching. God bless.